Samagama Sani Sada Samagama Sani Sada Samagama Sani Sada Samagama Sani Sada Nida Magani Samagama Sani Sada Samagama Sani Sada Nida Magani Samagama Sani Sada Samagama Sani So Mara is the first joint collaboration between myself and Maithili. Before we collaborated on uh, on projects where the concept was created by her and I would compose the music for, for that um, idea that she had. This was the first time that we came up with the idea for an original production, scripted the thing together. And it, the, the interesting thing is the idea came about as we were reading the same book, um, which was a fictional account of Buddha by Deepak Chopra in which the character Mara who in, in Buddhist folklore is considered a demon or a temptress who tried to distract Buddha away from enlightenment or meditation we both uh, found this character very interesting because we saw all the tricks and uh, the devious little pranks that Mara played on Buddha we saw that within ourselves So Mara is this character who is, you can't really grab a hold of, of him or her. It's, it's, he's a slippery, he's a slippery one and he can slip on by without you even noticing it. But for instance, one of the ideas I got for the theme for Mara, which is the theme music behind the character Mara is, I didn't want to have a raga per se, um, because a raga is very structured and defined. Um, so I thought of a melody that had it was a chromatic, it had every note in the scale because, um, and, and you can't really predict how, where the raga will go. So it doesn't sound melodic or beautiful like uh, a, a nice raga would sound, but it sounds kind of, sounds kind of uh, eerie, um, something off about it. Because to me, that's what Mara is. You really can't structure, you can't put it in a box. So this is the theme uh, for Mara, which is actually um, a horn melody that's played by the saxophone, trombone, um, the horn section. But I'll sing it for you so you can hear the melody. Mm. <speaking in Spanish> So it has all the notes of the scale. We are very, very thrilled that the first time we're taking it out of the country is Esplanade. Um, one of the, the most amazing, incredible venues in the world, um, truly top-class venue. And um, the Singapore audience, um, we, myself and Mike Lee, uh, know quite well because well, we performed in Singapore quite a bit. Um, I brought my ensemble, my band, uh, for Kala Utsubam uh, two years ago and performed at the outdoor theater in Esplanade. And what an amazing audience. Um, so interactive and, and um, really gave us so much energy and inspired us to perform. So the Aditya Prakash Ensemble uh, it came out of my years at UCLA. There used to be a lot of informal jam sessions as, as we call it. Um, parties where it was very informal. Um, we would get together as a social event and, and just play music. Everyone would just hop on. There'd be a keyboard, there'd be a drum set, guitars, uh, mics, and one such session 
I usually never, I, I was too inhibited to sing. I didn't even know how to keep up with jazz musicians. But uh, with some encouragement, I went up to the mic one of the days and um, something clicked that day. And it's nothing, obviously it was nothing planned. It was all improvised music. And I was singing a Carnatic Raga. Can't really remember what Raga it was, but um, I think the the harmonies just locked in. They, they I, at first I led it because I was singing the raga, and the chords that uh, my friend Julian, who was playing uh, keys at the time, I remember it, it. It just it sounded so authentically jazz, but at the same time, sounded authentically Carnatic because I was singing a raga. Um, and then once they started moving around harmonically, I started trying to find the notes that would work. And I was shifting out of the raga I was singing and trying to work with their harmonic scale. And so that jam session, there's something great that came out of it um, without even planning. So from then on, we, we thought, why not take this more seriously and actually work together to learn about each other's styles and arrange pieces that are unique, different, and uh, that's how formally we, we became a band and and we went under the name Aditya Prakash Ensemble. Dynamic dancing with live video projection on one of the world's best theaters, Esplanade. Uh, and we're very grateful for Art Compass to for taking the trouble to put together this event and and uh, make it a great, su great success. And um, just really excited and hope to hope to see you all at at the show in Singapore. Thank you very much.